Hey, what's going on everybody? Today we're going to be looking at a super view comparison using the GoPro Hero 4 Black Edition. In case you weren't aware, super view is a mode that allows you to capture a lot more information by using the entire sensor of the GoPro. GoPro sensor is a 4x3 aspect ratio, and most people are used to the typical 720p or 1080p video modes, which are both a 16x9 aspect ratio meaning the top and bottom of the video is clipped within the camera to give you that 16x9 view. SuperView captures video using the entire sensor in a 4x3 ratio and then converts it internally to a 16x9 aspect ratio, which is a normal viewing mode for most. That's just a quick explanation of SuperView, so enough of that and let's get into the comparison. I'm going to be comparing each SuperView mode built into the GoPro Hero 4 black camera. The modes are 4K, 2.7K, 1080p, and 720p. You'll notice that each super view mode is just as wide vertically and horizontally for each video resolution. This is because the camera is capturing the full 4x3 aspect ratio, except the only difference is in the video resolutions. So if you're looking to capture a really wide shot, but you're unsure which super view mode you should use, you just need to ask yourself two questions. How good do you want the final result to look? And do you require a high frame rate? 4K SuperView will give you a max of 24 frames per second, while 2.7K SuperView will give you a max of 30 frames per second. Those resolutions look amazing, but won't be ideal for cool slow motion shots. Now, if we go over to 1080p SuperView, you'll get a max of 80 frames per second, which is pretty good. Then we have 720p SuperView with a max of 120 frames per second. So if you're solely interested in capturing really smooth slow motion, you might want to go over to 720p super view at 120 frames per second. But if slow motion is not your thing, then you would go for the 4K super view. Many people might not be ready to upgrade to 4K TVs or monitors, so you might not think that the 4K video mode is right for you. But you may find that the 4K video mode is helpful with your video edits. 4K looks amazing, but if you're not exporting it as 4K, then what's the point? 4K allows you to scale in on certain areas without losing much quality, and that's probably the most popular thing that you can do with the 4K video mode right now. So now we'll look at a comparison of the different SuperView modes compared to the non-SuperView enabled modes. As you can see with all of the video modes, SuperView gives you much more information vertically and horizontally compared to non-SuperView. We also saw that the only difference between the SuperView modes was the quality or video resolution and not the amount of information captured by the camera. Each SuperView mode captured the same image but at different resolutions and frame rates. Well, that concludes this video on the different SuperView modes and I really hope you found it helpful. If you did, please leave me a like, and if you have any comments or questions, you can leave them down below. Don't forget to subscribe if you're new here. I have a ton more GoPro tutorials, tips, and I do occasional vlogs. So, I'll see you in my next video.